broadcasting from WRAM Studios at Portage Middle School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. As a part of Fort Wayne Community Schools, this is the Reliable Ram Review. Brought to you by the TV Broadcasting Program, WRAM, and featuring the most relevant, up-to-date, and important information at Portage Middle School. This is your Reliable Ram Review. In Portage News, Mr. Bailey, the TV broadcasting teacher, presented a CFAB grant proposal in front of Fort Wayne City Council last night. Portage's broadcasting program, WRAM, successfully won the grant to help improve our broadcast. We would like to thank the City of Fort Wayne for this funding. Thank you. In other Portage News, numerous clubs are now in full swing on Wednesdays after school. These clubs include the Beauty Club, Board Games and Dungeons and Dragons, Dancing, Design, music club, and robotics. Students, if you are interested in joining these clubs, simply ask your teacher for more information. We also offer after-school study tables on Wednesdays as well. Be sure to take advantage of this. In other sports news, the girls' basketball teams will be having tryouts. The sixth grade tryouts took place yesterday, November 9th, and the seventh grade tryouts will take place tonight, November 10th, from 2.30 to 4.45. Basketball season is almost here. The first game of the year is coming up on the end of the month. Portage will take on Shawnee in the first game of the year on Tuesday, November 29th. The girls will be playing at home and the boys will be playing away. In other Portage news, donations are needed for Portage Thanksgiving meals. Each first period of class is collecting the following items until November 17th. Instant mashed potatoes, boxes of stuffing, Canned corn, canned green beans, jars of turkey gravy, cans of cranberry jelly, cans of yams, packages of fried onions, cornbread mix, cans of cream of mushroom soup, half gallons of juice or two liters of pop, boxes of macaroni and cheese, 10 to 12 pound turkeys. Your generosity and kind spirit will directly help the needy. Please subscribe to our Portage Middle School Rams YouTube channel to follow our content. These have been your news and announcements for today. Have a great rest of your day, Portage. Hello, I'm Liberty Sanders, and this is your teacher feature. I'm here with Miss Bailey. Uh, Miss Bailey, what uh, do you teach? I teach seventh grade language arts here at Portage Middle School. Uh, what is your favorite thing? Um, the students, uh, they're very lively, good group that I have in the seventh grade. They keep it fun and interesting every day. <laughs> um, how long have you been teaching? This is my sixth year in total, my first year at Portage, and I'm loving it. Um, I taught my last five years at um, Northside High School, where I taught 9, 10, 11, 12, a little bit of everything. And now for your volleyball roundup. I'm Liberty Sanders, number five. I'm Navira Romero, captain, number two. I am Clarissa Bond, number one. I am Ayana Vizi, captain, number 10. I am Leo Vizi, number 16. And I'm Coach Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Coach, what, like, how do you think the season went? Um, we definitely had a learning season this year. It took a while for us to get into the swing of things, but once we did, we got organized. We won our first match, and then we won another one, won the bowl game. Um, <clears throat> we worked on a lot of fundamental skills. We got uh, better at pretty much everything we meant to get better at. So I think overall we ended on a positive note and had a pretty successful season. Mm -hmm. um, what are you looking forward to next season? With the girls that came in from 7th and 6th grade, I'm looking forward to more people coming out to try out because we're losing a great group of 8th graders. So we'll need some people to fill in those shoes. So I'm looking forward to meeting some new girls that want to come in and step it up and uh, continue to build upon the foundational skills that we started this season. Yeah. What would you say was one of your favorite moments of the season? Definitely winning our first match finally, because we knew we could, <laughs> and then we did. <laughs> and then we came and we won the bowl game against Miami. That was a really good feeling, so yeah. that was probably yeah. my favorite. We were so happy. Yeah, you guys did a great job. <laughs> what do you think was our most improved skill? 
definitely serving. (laughs) Among many other things, we got a lot better at passing. We could get passes to target by the end of the year. Um, We were communicating better as a team, and that translated because you could see it on the court. We were playing much better, and we weren't just giving up point after point because we were serving, getting runs for us. (laughs) Much better. (laughs) Okay, and that was your teacher feature and volleyball roundup. Hi, I'm Mrs. Manti, ELL teacher at Portage, and this is Hey Portage, What Are You Reading? I'm joined by two of our sixth graders, uh, Cielo Redesino and Freddie Valenzuela, and we read the story Inside Out and Back Again, and it's by Thang Ha Lai. Cielo, can you tell us a little bit about what the story was about? It's about a 10-year-old girl named Ha who lived in South Vietnam during the Vietnam War in 1975. Ha's father is in the military and goes missing. Ha lives with her mom and her three brothers, who later on decide to flee across the sea to Alabama after a fall of Saigon. Okay. And Freddie, what are, what are your, some of your favorite parts of the story? My favorite part of the story is when Ha got into the ship and left South Vietnam because the water was getting closer to their home. They didn't have any f- much food or any place to sail on their ship. People were crowded and no one could move. I also enjoyed the part when she first arrived in her new school in Alabama. She didn't like it there and got bullied, but her brother knew karate and helped her. Yeah, and a little bit more about this story. It was written as a series of poems in Ha's journal, and it traces um, her story over the course of, 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 a, of a year, actually. Um, so do either one of you recommend this story? Yeah. Okay, Cielo, why do you recommend it? Because it's, um, it shows what a 10-year-old girl has gone through that most of kids like our age now have not been through it. That's a good point and she's a refugee so it kind of traces it gives us insight into her into her life as a refugee as a 10 year old refugee from Vietnam. It's great. So I'm Mrs. Manti. This is Cielo. This is Freddie and that was Hey Portage What Are You Reading? And by the way, my name is Mr. Gerke, and yes, I am the music teacher here at Portage for the orchestra, band, and the choirs. Portage Middle School, we offer sixth grade choir, we offer seventh and eighth grade choir, we offer sixth grade band, we offer seventh and eighth grade band, and we offer seventh and eighth grade orchestra. Okay, in orchestra classes where we play the stringed instruments, those would include the violin, viola, cello, and the bass. And uh, this is where they learn all the basics of music, things they can use in other music classes. Uh, This is something they can, a skill they can carry into high school and be part of different groups, orchestras there, and a skill that they can carry into life after high school. In choir class, obviously we're singing. Uh, One skill that we want to improve with them is the way they sing. As they get older and, and have years in choir, they become much better singers. And also they learn things like part singing, which is something they do not do in elementary. Part singing is where one group sings a high part, where another group sings a low part, and they sing at the same time, and they have to be able to stay on their part. And this is a skill that they can learn here. Well, in our band program, it it obviously is our band instruments, flutes, saxophones, trumpets, trombones, things various instruments they can try. Uh, Once again, we're learning basics of music through a band instrument. Once again, this is something they can take into high school. And what's really neat about band, when you get into high school, you can be in pep band for the games. You can be in marching band, uh, which is they they compete in different competitions. So there's so many opportunities not only to continue to grow and learn your instrument, but there's social events. These are groups that you can become a part of and learn to work with. And once again, something you can do even after high school. Uh, Taking a music class and learning music, it helps you, number one, it just gives you a skill that other people don't have. Uh, Matter of fact, I joke with some of my fellow teachers here. I mean, I took science, and I know science, but they didn't take music, so they don't know music. So I'm kind of got one up on them there. Uh, Nextly, though, it helps when you're in a music class, you have to work with people. These are not solo classes. These are group classes, and this is where you learn to work with a group. And when you can learn to work with other people to accomplish a mission, 
It's something you can use in any field. You can use it in engineering. You can use it in business. So yes, this is something that carries them through life. Arts. Uh, middle school is where you get the opportunity to be in a band. You get an opportunity to be in a, a choir, an opportunity to be in an orchestra. This is the start of, of their chances to be in music. And now is the time to take advantage of it, because if you don't take advantage of it now in middle school, there's a chance you may not be able to have that chance in high school. Just like to add that if you are an incoming sixth grader, incoming to Portage Middle School, uh, I encourage you, give us a try. Try the choir, try the band, try the orchestra. Uh, this is a great time to, to, to see if you if something you can enjoy and something you can excel at. So join us here in music classes at Portage Middle School. Hello, this is Mr. Tom Bailey, TV broadcast teacher here at Porter's Middle School. Uh, before we sign off on our third episode of the Reliable Ram Review, I would like to extend our program's um, appreciation to all the veterans out there. Veterans Day is tomorrow, uh, and so we wanted to make sure that we recognize the veterans. As the son of a veteran, the great-grandson of a veteran, um, my wife's uh, grandfather also served for many years in the Air Force, and, and all the people that are in my life that have, that have served this country dutifully and honorably, we just want to make sure from Portage Middle School and WRAM that uh, you understand how much we appreciate your service, and uh, we support you, and uh, thank you for all that you've done to serve our country. Thank you.